All right, it's never easy to talk about and share this kind of stuff, but let's review it and we'll share the Maiden video and the second video and you'll see how we came to this unfortunate conclusion. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our season opener here in Canada. Finally, we get to get out and fly. It's been a long, arduous winter and flying season has begun. We have tons of maidens to do and today we are maidening the Hispano Aviation Bull aircraft. It's going to be a great day of awesome flights. We're going to do some special things in this video today. I'm going to talk through the maiden and tell you guys what's going on and then we'll have some snippets of the remainder of the flights throughout the day and just some action shots and stuff like that. So we've assembled the plane. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna fill it up. We're gonna do our test run, our taxi test, do some range checks, and then we were ready to do our maiden flight. So thanks for joining guys. It's gonna be an awesome day. All right guys, so getting ready for a maiden. The plane has all been set up already. All that's been done in, in advance. We've got all of our radio programming kind of preset. And what we're gonna do is we're going to give the aircraft a start up. We've started it up before during the build and uh, we're gonna do some taxi tests, just feel how the aircraft ground handles is the, uh, the reason for this. And of course, we've got all of our safety equipment. We've got our ear protection, our fire extinguisher, our blower, and we're gonna start this up and do some taxi tests. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are ready to go. We're going to leave the lights off initially lights here off. and we are ready to take off. Okay, gear is going up, flaps up, so the gyro is currently off. So what I'm doing now is just trimming it out. So I'm giving it a little bit of right aileron. One click of up elevator. Perfect. Minutes. At half throttle. Is that what it's at? Yeah. So yeah. half throttle. Flies really well. That's advertising. So again, still just trimming it out, getting used to it. Do a little roll rate check here. Warning, Very nice. Altitude. Warning, altitude. Warning, altitude. So gyro just got switched on. Four minutes. So what I was doing there is I wanted the 
gyro to be off while I was trimming it out, just so we can get the plane trimmed. Warning, altitude. Warning, altitude. That altitude Warning. thing, I can't altitude. remember what I set the number at, but. So there's hands off. to loop here. Nice. Nice and true. So just getting the feel for it. So we're gonna have to trim out the flat modes as well too. So I'm gonna turn the gyro back off. So gyro's now off. And we'll go to takeoff flaps. Once we're straight and level here. So we need some down elevator and some right aileron. Too much of both. Okay, so we're going to drop the gear now. And then we're going to go to full flaps. I'll tell you when we're at full flaps. So full flaps now. So two clicks of right, one click of left. Or sorry, two clicks of right, one click of forward. And she's locked in. Feels really good. So what I'll do now is just do some approaches. It's actually been six months since I've flown. Um, we have a pretty brutal winter this year and absolutely no flying. So there's gyro on, full dirty. So gears down, flaps are down. So she's all trimmed out in all the different attitudes. That's good. So that's full dirty, full flaps, gear down. That's smooth. 30 seconds. We'll turn our lights on now. Lights on. Practice the approach. 20 seconds. So we're high, we're not gonna land this time, we're just getting the feel for the runway because it's been six months. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, nice. three. Nice. Rock two, solid. One. Okay, so our timer just expired. Our fuel level's at 50%, according to the uh, telemetry. So what we'll do now is we'll see if this will work out for landing. The throttle stick feels like it's at about a quarter throttle. Yeah, about a third. About a third? Yeah. So I'm just coming down on the throttle. Yep. Letting her sink nicely. Throttle off. So after that, I could have probably taken my throttle off more. And this is one of the things that is important to learn with a new aircraft is just getting the feel for it. But we're down successful, little long run out, but it's all good. 
Feels nice. She scoots, man, with that 170. I don't think I'd want anything bigger. Like when I started going on the throttle, I was, I was, uh, it was cooking.
so frustrating. What happened? Well, I noticed that I was losing power, and uh, so I my gear was down, my flaps were down, and I was losing power, so I put my flaps up, and I tried to turn it back around, and it wouldn't, uh, it just stalled. Very frustrating. Yep. Frick. <sighs> <laughs> All right, so at this point, don't really know what happened other than I had no power. Uh, fortunately, with the Jetty telemetry system, I took a quick look in the uh, in the telemetry recording from what we can see in the on the actual transmitter, and my Q value signal, all that stuff was 100% the whole time. So what we'll do is when we get home, we'll take a look at the computer and look at a more detailed view. But when you look at the turbine uh, telemetry and feedback and stuff, you can see that uh, the RPM and everything just kind of dropped off, basically. So don't exactly know why, but unfortunately that was the, uh, the outcome. Um, all the electronics are still good, let's say. Uh, servos are all still good. The plane actually handled that quite well uh, with the wings and everything, so I was quite surprised. The gear is all still good, so um, at this point, maybe a new fuselage and, uh, and a new fuel tank and be good to go again.